Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you an application called Writing Pad. I've displayed this application before, um, but I kind of have an issue with it now. I noticed something while I was making a call. It kind of has, it blocks off the bottom of the screen. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you the actual application itself. Let's see if I can focus up on the icon. It's kind of got like a little scribbling thing and yeah. So anyway, here's the application Writing Pad. Just, you know. You open it up and it's a little slow to begin with. That's one feature I really like too much about it. And and here we go. So once you got it open, let's see if I can focus here. Oh, guess not. Okay, here we go. So once you got it open, you can type many different ways. Um, I'm gonna delete a couple buttons here. Actually. So here's how you go about doing it. You can type in like you normally would on, um, you know, notepad for that comes with the iPhone, or you can drag things like this. And it brings up a list of words that you might be referring to, you know, that you might be uh, trying to spell out. As you can see, I was spelling the word door, but it has sour, door, door, you know, things like that. But the problem with it is this. When you go to make a phone call, I'm just going to call my voicemail here. When you go to make a phone call, it cuts off the bottom half of the screen. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm in the phone call right now. And, um, I'm trying to utilize writing pad. And the reason I have a problem with this is because what I was trying to do, I was in a phone call and I was trying to take down a number and I couldn't do it, do it, but I had a little bit of difficulty because as you can see down here at the bottom, it cuts off the bottom screens. And one of those buttons that it cuts off is the number button. Yeah, you can press it, but you know, this is something that should be fixed within the user interface. You can still type and use it as you normally would, but you know, it's something that needs to be fixed. Not to mention the fact that when I do open up this application, um, you know, I shouldn't have to wait so long for it to actually kick in, you know, and do what it has, what it needs to do. For instance, I'll show you again one more time. Let's see. Like right here, it blinks, brings up a blank screen. Now, if it brought up the writing area or tab, pad, whatever you want to do at the bottom, you know, that's fine. But no, you either have this, um, that little plus sign up there or wait for it to actually come up with something. So that's something that needs to be fixed within writing pad. And yeah, so it's not really a review, not really a complaint, just kind of heads up. The application was free when I got it. I'm pretty sure it's still free now. It's uh, something you would use every day. But uh, yeah, you know, these, these are just things that need to be fixed before an application is put out. Anyway, not really complaining, just kind of giving you guys a heads up. Let me know what you think. Please rate, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy.